is uh, food for life. Today I'm going to eat a big tree.
This is called Vani Seva. When the spiritual master is physically present, there's the opportunity, Vapu Seva, to uh, serve the physical body of the spiritual master. Uh, but when he is not here, one can continue to keep his association by Vani Seva, by following his uh, orders. Now, the king, in the next verse, the queen tries to wake the king up. She's disturbed. You're gone, the king is gone, and now uh, 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 there's uh, thieves and rogues who are going to take over. Uh, and so Prabhupada remarks, this is a famous remark, when the Acharya comes, following the superior order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or his representative, he establishes the principles of religion as enunciated in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, it is the Acharya's duty to spread a bona fide religious system <clears throat> and induce everyone to bow down before the Supreme Lord. Unfortunately, when the Acharya disappears, <coughs> rogues and non-devotees take advantage and immediately begin to introduce unauthorized principles in the name of so-called swamis, yogis, philanthropists, welfare workers, and so on. So then I'm skipping a, a little bit here. Uh, <coughs> the main business of human society is to think of the Supreme Personality of Godhead at all times, become his devotees, to worship the Supreme Lord, and to bow down before him. The Acharya, the authorized representative of the Supreme Lord, establishes these principles, but when he disappears, things once again become disordered. That now we have also seen. We have seen after Prabhupada is gone, the disorder increases pretty much as Prabhupada has predicted here. But we now have instructions here from Prabhupada what to do when that happens. So in case we're wondering what do we do, here's the answer. The perfect disciples of the Acharya try to relieve the situation by sincerely following the instructions of the spiritual master. At the present moment, the practice, the Practically the entire world is full of rogues and non-devotees, therefore this Krishna consciousness movement is started to save the world from irreligious principles. Everyone should cooperate with this movement in order to bring actual peace and happiness in the world. Major theme of Srila Prabhupada. So although Prabhupada is gone, uh, the disciples uh, again uh, uh, relieve the situation the same phrase, strictly follow the order of the spiritual master, again by Vani uh, Seva. Then the queen, after crying some more, then prepares a funeral pyre for immolating the body of uh, her king, her husband, and then she prepares also to perish in the fire herself. So the allegorical meaning of this is as follows. A devoted disciple of the spiritual master would rather die with the spiritual master than fail to execute the spiritual master's mission. As the Supreme Personality of Godhead comes down upon this earth to reestablish the principles of religion, uh, the spiritual master, so his representative, the spiritual master, also comes to re-establish religious principles. It is the duty of the disciples to take charge of the mission of the spiritual master and execute it properly. Otherwise, the disciples should die, decide to die along with the spiritual master. In other words, to execute the will of the spiritual master, the disciple should be prepared to lay down his life and abandon all personal 
considerations. So this should be the attitude now, to make the order of the spiritual master my only thing. No other consideration uh, uh, there. Then in the story, as the queen is uh, preparing to, to uh, put herself into the fire, suddenly a, a brahmana appears very learned Brahmana and it states he, this Brahmana was an old friend of King Paranjana and the Brahmana then begins to pacify the Queen with sweet uh, words. <coughs> Prabhupada says the appearance of an old friend in the form of a Brahmana is very significant in his Paramatma feature the king is the old friend, excuse me, in his Paramatma feature, Krishna is the old friend of everyone. And then Prabhupada explains how the super soul is there with every living entity in the heart as the witness and as the witnessing bird. Uh, when one becomes, then Prabhupada continues, Oh, by the way, it's mentioned that when in his previous life, when King Paranjana uh, left his body, uh, he couldn't remember Sakyam Suridam Puraha, his former uh, well-wishing friend, meaning again the super soul. That time he didn't see him. Now, this time, he made some progress. So the super soul, now in this form, uh, has appeared before the queen. So Prabhupada says, when one becomes serious to follow the mission of the spiritual master, his resolution is tantamount to seeing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tantamount means the same thing as, it's the equivalent. When one becomes serious to follow the mission of the spiritual master, his resolution is tantamount to seeing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As explained before, this means meeting the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the instruction of the spiritual master. This is technically called Vani Seva. So you see how Prabhupada is carrying this theme through these various purports, elaborating on what Vani Seva is. So if one engages in Vani Seva, as dedicating oneself fully to following the uh, order of the spiritual master and carrying out his mission, then first of all, the spiritual master always keeps company and you see the Supreme Personality of Godhead, at least in his Paramatma feature. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur states in his Bhagavad Gita commentary on the verse Vyavasa Atmika Bhutir E Keha Kuru Nandana, Bhagavad Gita 241, that one should serve the words of the spiritual master. The disciple must stick to whatever the spiritual master orders simply by following on that line one sees the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Here, this mention of this commentary by Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur is very, very significant. I should go on and give you some more places where Prabhupada mentions this purport. And if you start to look for it, you'll find he mentions it or refers to it or alludes to it everywhere. And because from this purport, Prabhupada received his great inspiration himself, as he explains. We'll get back to that later. Uh, so this is very, so this, what Prabhupada, call, what is called Vani Seva, is also described here by Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. What is Vyavasa Atmika Bhuti? Remember in that verse, Krishna is saying, in order to be successful in this path, you must have this quality, Vyavasa Atmika Bhuti. Your aim has to be one. And you have to dedicate yourself single-mindedly. Otherwise, if you have many desires, your intelligence is branched all over the place. So this is required for success in spiritual life. 
And then when Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur talks about it, he said, this means taking the order of the spiritual master, that is the Vani of the spiritual master, as your life and soul. Serve that completely and don't worry about anything else, liberation, not liberation, success or failure. Make this uh, your life. This is what, this is how uh, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur understands Vyavasa Atmika Bodhi practically to mean. Then Prabhupada remarks, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Paramatma, appeared before the Queen as a Brahmana. Why didn't he appear in his original form as Sri Krishna? Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur remarks that unless one is very highly elevated and loving the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one cannot see him as he is. Nonetheless, if one sticks to the principles enunciated by the spiritual master, so this is even for those who are not so highly elevated. Uh, if one sticks to the principles enunciated by the spiritual master, somehow or other he is in association with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Since the Lord is in the heart, he can advise a sincere disciple from within. So this is how, in the absence of the spiritual master, the physical absence, we also get guidance directly from the super soul. And Prabhupada then quotes Bhagavad Gita 10.10. 10. Then he says, in conclusion, if a disciple is very serious to execute the mission of the spiritual master, he immediately associates with the Supreme Personality of Godhead by Vani or Vapuhu. This is the only secret of success in seeing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Instead of being eager to see the Lord in some bush of Vrindavan, while at the same time engaging in sense gratification, if one instead sticks to the principle of following the words of the spiritual master, he will see the Supreme Lord without difficulty. So there's Prabhupada's instructions. How we can associate with Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada also remarks this he himself, you'll find this in his concluding words to his translation of Chaitanya Charitamrita, how he engaged in uh, all his work he's doing is Vani Seva. He is serving the order of his spiritual master. Now, Prabhupada tells us how he received that order. There's a very uh, uh, wonderful lecture that Prabhupada gave uh, in Los Angeles in 1968 on the disappearance day of his spiritual master. And in that lecture, Prabhupada uh, re remarks he, that, he, I mean, here, here he now is in 1968 and he's sitting in Los Angeles, California. And he's together with his disciples, at that time all American boys and girls. And he remarks that it's certainly an extraordinary thing. He said it was an extraordinary thing. He said, how did I come to meet my spiritual master? I was from one family, he was in another family, and somehow we came together. And now here we are together also. I'm not only from a different family, from another country, you're from this country, so somehow we are together. How did this happen? He said it must. It happened by the will of the Lord. And then he starts to tell how the will of the Lord worked. Prabhupada begins to tell about starting in 1936. He says that he is in Bombay and he's doing some business. Prabhupada is a householder and uh, in the pharmaceutical line, and he was doing business in Bombay. And he said, uh, on an impulse, he sat down and he wrote a letter to his Guru Maharaj. At that time, his Guru Maharaj was uh, feeling unwell, he was ill, and was in Jagannath Puri, trying to recover his health. And Prabhupada wrote him a letter, 
And he said, I'm feeling uh, that I'm not doing anything to serve you. My god brothers, who are sannyasis and brahmacharis, they're doing so much service, but I feel I, I can't do much of anything. Is there anything I could do to serve you? Those are Prabhupada's ideas. You have to remember that the Gaudiya Math, the mission itself, engaged actively in preaching. Everybody was, it was sannyasis and brahmacharis. Householders were all people living on the outside. And of course Prabhupada was maintaining his family and so he was doing business in Bombay. Uh, doing business in Bombay, anyone who's had any experience of that knows what that's like and in, probably in 1936 it was even tougher than it is now. So just, he said, so Prabhupada said, I just on the an impulse I, I wrote this letter, is there anything I can do? And he received a letter back from Puri and uh, Bhakti Siddhanta said to him, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said to him, it will be good for you and for those who help you if you uh, push on this mission in the English language. And Prabhupada describes that he was somewhat shocked. Uh, he said, uh, uh, because he, he said, I couldn't imagine what I would do. Uh, I couldn't think I could do this, I could do this. See, this order uh, uh, to, to preach in English, it meant go to the West. And everybody understood this order because Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had actually given it to all his leading men, all his main preachers. He very much wanted to see the Gaudiya mission spread to the West. And so it was given to brahmacharis and sannyasis who would be freed up to do this work. So Prabhupada was astounded to get this message himself. Here he is so entangled doing business in Bombay and a householder, now he's giving me this message. So Prabhupada said, I couldn't think that I, uh, now, Prabhupada, he may have meant to say, I couldn't make plans, what I would do next, what I would do next. <laughs> he said, but, uh, but it, it was coming from my spiritual master, I took it seriously. And then he said, uh, and then just two weeks later, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur left this world. That was the last communication he had from his uh, uh, Guru Maharaj. And then Prabhupada said, then I took it even more seriously by getting some inspiration from a purport by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur on this verse, Vyavasa Atma Kabudi, a.k.a. Guru Nandana. So that for Prabhupada was like his breakthrough moment where Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur says that you just make the order of the spiritual master your life and soul. This is the secret of success. You'll find, I have just in this canto, there's several places where Prabhupada mentions this uh, uh, verse, uh, uh, this purport. I'll just read you these two. And if you start looking for them, as I said, you'll find them everywhere. Uh, uh, this is, uh, in, in this particular verse, Prithu Maharaj uh, is uh, receiving a, an order from the Lord, instruction from the Lord. Um, here Prithu Maharaj is also being given orders by Lord Vishnu regarding the execution of his duty. We have to stick to the principles stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Vyavasa Atmika Buddhihi. Every man's duty is to receive the order from Lord Krishna or from his bona fide representative and to take these orders as his life and soul without personal considerations. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur states that one should not care very much whether he's going to be liberated or not, but he should simply execute the direct order received from the spiritual master. If one sticks to the principle of abiding by the order of the spiritual master, he will always remain in a liberated position. Uh, so that's one place. Then a little later on, uh, uh, in another verse, 
uh, how the sons of Pr uh, Pratini Bari uh, received instructions from Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva actually became the spiritual master of the ten sons and in turn the disciples took his words so seriously that simply by meditating upon his instructions they became perfect. This is the secret of success. Notice this phrase, secret of success. Huh? It shows up all the time. After being initiated and receiving the order of the spiritual master, the disciple should unhesitatingly think about the instructions or orders of the spiritual master and should not allow himself to be disturbed by anything else. This is also the verdict of Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, who, while explaining a verse of Bhagavad Gita, Vyavasa Atmika Buddhi, Ekeha Kuru Nandana, points out that the order of the spiritual master is the life substance of the disciple. The disciple should not consider whether he is going back home, back to Godhead. His first business should be to execute the order of his spiritual master. Thus the disciple should always meditate on the order of the spiritual master and that is perfectional meditation. Not only should he meditate upon that order, but he should find out the means by which he can perfectly worship and execute it. That's just two samples. There are many more. This Prabhupada is speaking now very deeply of his own realization. So he's been describing how he came to Los Angeles. He said, this is what happened to him. He took this instruction seriously and he began to meditate on it and dedicate himself to that order. So he said, and now Krishna has provided all facility. Now, this is how he got there. Uh, Krishna has provided all facility so that I am here together with you, simply by executing that order. And we see from Prabhupada's own example how he kept that order uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, persistently, with great determination. Because up until a certain point, you would say that Prabhupada's uh, life was a record of failure. Uh, he immediately, uh, Prabhupada said he got this letter in 1936, he began writing in English. Uh, in 1944 he began uh, Back to Godhead magazine and was distributing in India to uh, educated people who, who spoke English. Then we know how Finally, he left his family life when things became difficult. He tried so many things. He tried to start something at Jansi, and it uh, it got into foundered on, on you know local politics. Uh, he tried to work with the Godiamat. That didn't happen. He was sitting in his rooms writing these these books, uh, and so in so many ways, he just stayed dedicated. And although there were so many setbacks and failures and difficulties, Prabhupada got <coughs> to that order. Finally, he comes to America. It's the jet age, but he's on an old steamship chugging through the Suez Canal and so on, like it was still the 1930s. Uh, and uh, finally arrives in, 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 in America, and still so much difficulty was there. He was by himself. It was a cold place. Prabhupada remarked that the first time he, he saw snow, he didn't know what it was. He thought somebody was on the roof of the building throwing down lime. He had to go through a New York winter. Uh, uh, and Prabhupada said that he used to check and see when the, when the ships are going back to India. He didn't know if things would last. But then suddenly, after, and he, living from hand to mouth, going from place to place, having no place to live, having his what little things he got, his typewriter stolen and so on. Gradually things come out uh, uh, successfully. So this is his Vyavasa uh, Atmika Bhuti. Now, in this lecture, something, the next thing that happens is quite wonderful. Uh, I've, I've had godbrothers of mine sometimes lament that 
they feel very unfortunate that Prabhupada never gave them an instruction like he received. He had gotten this letter, you preach in English. And of course, there are many disciples of Prabhupada who were given some very specific direction by Srila Prabhupada, but the majority were not. <coughs> That they never received, so they th I never received an instruction. But in this lecture, Prabhupada says, he says, now today, I am going to give you the same instruction my spiritual master gave me. So it happened. The blanket instruction. So now I'm going to give it to you today, the same instruction. Parampara, as he gave it to me, now I'm going to give it to you. He said, first of all, you understand this Krishna consciousness. You have understood this Krishna consciousness to some extent. It means that now you should become devotees of Krishna yourself. And then Prabhupada said, and you should have some feeling for suffering humanity. And then Prabhupada discusses how in this world people are suffering. And a, and a Vaishnava is an ocean of mercy, as we say, The Vaishnava is an ocean of mercy. Paradukha Dukhi, the Vaishnava suffers when he sees that other people are suffering. So people in this world are suffering. Prabhupada said, people understand this suffering from different angles of vision. And philanthropic people try to remove their suffering by food distribution and, uh, to the poor or opening hospitals. And all these are very nice, laudable attempts to help people uh, in their suffering. But actually, they do, we know that they do not actually uh, ultimately vanquish the suffering. Because the real suffering is due to forgetfulness of Krishna. It's for want of Krishna consciousness. So we have the answer to everyone's suffering. So we should give it to other people. So this is the order. First of all, yourself become a devotee yourself. Because if you cannot save yourself, how can you save anyone? <laughs> so first instruction is you become Krishna conscious. Understand this Krishna consciousness and give it to others. There's the Vani of Srila Prabhupada in a nutshell. What he asked us to do, his mission statement. You become Krishna conscious and give it to others. Notice his order is to become Krishna conscious. One time when he was in Africa, he had just been in England and he had had a big debate with the secretary of the Minsa Club. The Minsa Club, you have to have a, be a certified genius. IQ, I guess, 140 or over to join this club. And so Prabhupada was invited to speak and he got in a long debate with the secretary of that club and he defeated him. After that, Prabhupada was in, uh, in Africa. Uh, I don't think this is on tape, but, but Shamasundar was his secretary. In those days, secre for some time, he sent out a very artistically written newsletter that we used to get of Prabhupada's activities. This must have been 72, I guess, that this newsletter came out. So he's quoting Prabhupada as saying, uh, uh, so Prabhupada said, I act like a king because nobody can defeat me, <laughs> he said in this newsletter. Uh, and this is also where the statement came from Prabhupada, uh, preaching is the essence, books are the basis, utility is the principle, purity is the force. It's in that, that newsletter. So then, uh, then Prabhupada said, uh, he said, I, so he said, so I act like a king because nobody can defeat me. He says, now, he says, I am one person and see what I have done. He says, and now we are 500, which I suppose was his initiated disciples at that time. He says, now we are 500, so each of you become just like me and see what can be done. So this is the order of the spiritual master. You become just like me. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, we can't be like Prabhupada. But his order is, be just like me. Uh, 
be just like me. Doesn't mean to imitate him, but follow his instructions. He told, he tells us how he became like he is. He took the order of his spiritual master as his life and soul, and he demonstrated this efficacy of his Vani Seva, because it's all he had. You may wonder why Prabhupada arrived on this shore with no resources. Why did Krishna do this? Here he comes here by himself. He doesn't have money. The startup capital of ISKCON, he, he, it's true, he had 40 rupees with him, but the fact is he could not exchange it. Nobody would change it. Really what he did is he sold a set of books uh, to the captain of the Jaladuta for $25. That was his startup capital of ISKCON was $25. To this day we're undercapitalized when we come by it, honestly. So he had no money. Uh, he had no institutional support. Although this order of Bhakti Siddhanta was widely distributed, it was not being taken up. He had no institutional support. He was by himself. Uh, he didn't have the youthful energy. He was 70 years old. Prabhupada described it as the fag end of my life. He was 70, end of his life, 70 years old. He didn't have health. On the way over, he had heart attacks. Huh? So no resources. His only resource was his commitment to Vani Seva, to the order of his spiritual master. So he showed us how it is to be done. We can be poverty stricken in every department. But if we take the order of the spiritual master seriously, and seriously means we have to follow it. Because there's a test. Even Prabhupada said like this in one lecture, where he said is the proof that you love Krishna. If you love Krishna, you will follow his order. So it is not enough to say, I love Srila Prabhupada. That's sentiment. We're happy even to see the sentiment, it's true. But real love means I follow his order. That's how we show our love by Srila Prabhupada, by taking his order very seriously. We follow his instructions. Then we will become empowered by following his instructions, the super soul will appear in those instructions and give us all guidance. If Krishna is giving us all guidance, what can't we do? So we should follow the orders of Prabhupada, the spiritual master, just as he did. He showed us how to do it. And in this way, we can give the benediction of Srila Prabhupada to the whole world. After all, he saved me. I was sitting rotting in America, absolutely desperate, not knowing where I was going to go, thinking maybe I have to go to India and find a guru. Only to find Prabhupada came and he saved me. Uh, now I have a debt to him. Uh, what, what is that debt? I have to give Krishna consciousness to other people. Uh, we have to follow his order and carry out his instruction. <laughs> So let us dedicate at this time, at this festival, let us dedicate ourselves to Vani Seva. Prabhupada himself did that. He showed us how it can be done. He told us to do it. We can become uh, uh, devotees. It is not impossible. The spiritual master never gives an instruction that you cannot carry out. If he gives an instruction, the mercy to carry out is there. Krishna consciousness, pure devotional service can be done. And if we dedicate ourselves to Prabhupada's instruction, then he will also give us all facility, uh, mental, spiritual, material, financial, to execute it. So this is the occasion for dedicating ourselves to Vani Seva. And in this way, we can associate uh, here with Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki And I guess the second thing might be some bad association. Everybody in this world has bad association. Unfortunately, our own minds are bad association. 
And uh, modern media means bad association is uh, all around us. Uh, uh, so we, we have to be very, very, we have to see if we, if we are having trouble, we should find out somebody who's following at least better than we are and stick with that person. Uh, we should have faith in the order of the spiritual master. Many people have become disheartened. Uh, they've seen so many people fall away. They say Krishna consciousness can't be done and so many other things. Uh, these are defeatist words. Uh, uh, so one should, have, one should have confidence in the instructions of Srila Prabhupada. One should understand that we just have some weakness of heart that is there, some faint-heartedness. We have to commit ourselves to this goal. After all, here we are in this world. How long will we be here? Let us do something worthwhile with our lives. The whole world is filled with people and they're living uselessly. They're born, growing old, dying, just, just, like, just like an anthill. What, what, what difference does it make? Let us do something to make a difference with our lives. Uh, even if we are not entirely successful, whatever we do actually is success. Because we will go on. Just, just the commitment to that order and doing everything in our power, we will be successful. We'll make something worthwhile. And actually, the other thing we should consider, at least I consider this, uh, we, we, ha we have the cure to the material disease. So we, we are like physicians, uh, like the, you know, doctors without borders, medicine, songs, whatever it's called. The, you know, they go into some plague country where everybody's dying right and left, and they have the medicine. Now, what if they don't do anything? Huh? That's criminal. Oh, well, you have the medicine, you have to suddenly work very, very hard, day and night, go without sleep, to deliver this medicine to everybody. We have the medicine. It's Baba Oshadi. We have the medicine to cure birth and death in the material world. So just on ethical principles, <laughs> we have to give it out. We shouldn't waste any time. So just like the doctors, they inoculate themselves first. <laughs> let us take that medicine and then let's give it to everybody. Let's do some good in this world. Not sit in front of the television set, <laughs> wasting our lives. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Prabhupada ki. Hold the spiritual master because uh, like the grandfather is more merciful than the father. I know, like, I'm a grandfather, and I love uh, being with my grandchildren because I can just spoil them. <laughs> when it's time for discipline, I turn them over, you know, <laughs> to my daughter. <laughs> so, so, but the best way to please, uh, uh, one way to please Bhakti Siddhanta says what he talked was simply to follow Prabhupada, and he would be most pleased rather than simply praying. The thing is that that uh, we have a, all, everyone has a different relationship with, with, uh, with, with Srila Prabhupada than Prabhupada's disciples have with Bhakti Siddhanta. We didn't, he wasn't present to us and most of us could not uh, even understand a word he wrote. It was very, uh, it was <laughs> very elevated. <coughs> uh, he is not the founder Acharya of Iskand. Uh, Srila Prabhupada is the founder Acharya of Iskand. So the relationship is different. Even when people were going, and one of the early Mayapur pilgrimages, people were going into the Gaudiya Mat and snapping up books of, 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 of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And Prabhupada uh, said to stop it. Uh, well, we want to read him. And Prabhupada said, he, he, he's my spiritual master, not yours. Me meaning that we were not in a position to understand him. Prabhupada has written everything that's understandable uh, for us. And he remains the, the, the founder acharya of our movement. Uh, so we, we the, those who are not his, his uh, direct disciples are still his disciples because we have this relationship as Shiksha disciples with him that it, the general rule we don't have with, 
with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati or other of the uh, previous acharyas. Eventually, they all become our. our, our we receive shikta from all of them, but but uh, Prabhupada is is quite special for for all of us, and um, you should see that that uh, that. Uh, if I'm initiated by a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, I, I should see that disciple and Srila Prabhupada a, a, as together, uh, not as separate. Just as Srila Prabhupada I don't see as separate from Krishna. Whenever I think of the, the spiritual masses, one who reminds you of Krishna. And so the, actually when the spiritual masters is there, the whole parampara is, is, is also there right, in this way. But when Prabhupada came here, all we knew was Srila Prabhupada. We had no other example of any uh, great devotee. We had no... Uh, he, uh, the whole uh, whole Gaudiya tradition for us was embodied in one person. And it was to that person we, we needed to go uh, to, uh, to surrender. Is that okay? You want to add something to that? No? It's all right? It's okay? Now we have to get on with this game. Giving such a wonderful and inspiring class to all of us, the how and separation, uh, we can continue on with our service to the Vani. So I'd like to thank you very much, and we can all bow down at the very soft and wonderful lotus feet of that great personality that we've all come here to honor, Sri the Prabhupada Ki!
कृष्ण राधे राधे